Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm the painter of this video. Today you will see me painting this uh, cut and I'll try to paint it uh, in a realistic uh, way. And uh, for this I'm using uh, the traditional methods of uh, painting with uh, an underpainting. And uh, the medium I'm using is uh, egg tempera. Of course, if your medium is uh, acrylic or uh, gouache, then uh, this uh, uh, tutorial will be helpful for you, this demonstration. So the first thing uh, that uh, you see me doing here is uh, uh, having transferred my drawing on my rabbit skin glue gessoed uh, panel, wood panel. And uh, now I'm doing this uh, underpainting almost in a watercolor uh, way. I will start by applying very thin uh, uh, layers of uh, egg tempera color with just uh, pure uh, black. And um, I will try to give uh, this uh, cut some uh, volume, some sense of uh, three dimensions, uh, just by using these very thin, very watery colors. Of course, uh, for the facial features and the areas uh, where I need to go dark, uh, I will go dark. Here you see also uh, a photograph of uh, my palette. Uh, these are uh, just uh, the seven colors uh, that uh, I've used uh, to paint this cut. Uh, it's uh, titanium white, uh, cobalt blue, iron oxide red, cadmium red, it's cadmium yellow, uh, yellow ochre and uh, uh, ivory black. So after I've done my under painting, I will start by gradually uh, applying more um, color onto the cut. Uh, I see that uh, the the part of the mouth uh, is a little bit more uh, cold, let's say in general, uh, than the rest of the fur of the cut. So I will give uh, I will divide this. Um, this uh, painting into three zones, uh, roughly. Well, maybe let's say five zones. One of the area around the cut, one of the the main fur of the cut on the face, and uh, the the area of the ears, as you see here, and the area of uh, the nose, the red nose, and the green yellowy eyes. And uh, I will uh, um, I will try to. Uh, to guess while I'm observing my photograph, my reference uh, photograph, I'll try to guess uh, how how to paint this uh, um, this portrait of uh, the cat. So I am after having done my underpainting, I will uh, paint as I, as I say very loosely, very just um, in an exploratory way, uh, the area around the mouth and uh, below the nose and then the area of the the main area of the fur uh, on the face of the cut uh, just with this uh, this warmer uh, color that um, will describe the area of uh, the face that is uh, in the light for the area that is in the dark and for the darker elements around the nose uh, i will use darker uh, colors this is uh, uh, a process when we paint fur that goes uh, back and forth. Uh, I know it can, it seems intimidating, but uh, let me tell you that uh, if your drawing is correct, uh, I find that painting uh, an animal, painting this uh, cat, was much easier for me than painting uh, a human face. So as I'm using my egg tempera here, I'm doing the I'm mixing colors using these seven colors to do many mi mixes on uh, my palette, and um, I make sure that the consistency of the colors that I'm using uh, is the right consistency. It's not uh, too thin or not too thick, and uh, I'm using um, I I mix. Uh, um, 
colors like uh, say uh, for uh, for the shadows I do iron oxide red with some uh, black and a little bit of uh, uh, green that uh, I of course uh, create by adding blue and yellow and um, then for the eyes again this kind of uh, green uh, just to explore a little bit what's going on in the eyes of uh, the cat. For the lighter uh, part of the fur, I will add uh, some uh, cadmium yellow with some uh, um, yellow ochre and a little bit of uh, white. I can also add some iron oxide red for the warmer parts of the fur. And uh, little by little, and by going uh, mostly back and forth uh, many times, I will try to see the forms, the way, the dynamics that the fur on the photograph uh, has and uh, recreate this as much as uh, possible. Egg tempera is a great uh, medium to use when painting uh, fur because uh, it dries quickly. You, we can add uh, layers upon layers uh, very quick and um, we don't need much uh, smooth blending when when uh, painting fur. It's mostly a linear blending, the way fur is uh, expressed. And uh, that's why I believe uh, gouache or acrylics or uh, a water-soluble medium like egg tempera is, uh, works great when painting uh, a cat or a fur or an animal with fur. The, um, the brush I'm using is uh, um, a Kolinsky brush appropriate for uh, uh, egg tempera and uh, this uh, I feel that uh, the brush behaves perfectly uh, under my commands. This is something that you have to feel when you are uh, painting. I have some uh, um, some videos on uh, egg tempera you can find on this channel if you are new to this medium and if you want to explore egg tempera uh, check this uh, check my channel on uh, YouTube and uh, you might find something that will uh, help you at this point I really want to thank my Patreon supporters for uh, joining me on my Patreon page where uh, you can find some exclusive content and uh, many tutorials and courses on uh, various subjects such as uh, drawing, egg tempera, iconography. So thank you so much for your support there. Uh, you really help the production of uh, these videos here and uh, helping me as um, an artist. Thank you so much. But uh, I want to thank all of you here on YouTube for your uh, beautiful, amazing comments, for your support here as well. So really, really thank you for being here, for subscribing uh, to this channel and uh, making it uh, bigger. Um, really thank you all. I hope you all find something helpful out of these uh, videos. Now, <laughs> I know uh, sometimes uh, people uh, have a hard time understanding me, but uh, feel free to just uh, mute the audio of <laughs> the video and just uh, watch the, uh, the visuals. So, when I'm painting the eyes here, I make sure that I, I transfer on my painting the same uh, relationships of uh, values, of shapes that uh, I see on my photograph. I will make the uh, reflections uh, as strong and the shape of the reflections as strong as I see them on my photograph. Um, I will also make sure that uh, the, um, uh, the, the colors uh, are correct, that they reflect, they give a sense of uh, the shininess of uh, the, the eyes, the clarity of uh, the eyes. And um, I will try to uh, observe how smooth the blending uh, is in, inside the iris of uh, um, inside the iris of in the cat's eyes and transfer uh, everything uh, little by little uh, on my painting as well. Here I'm using uh, 
uh, runny colors, very uh, thinned down uh, colors and this helps me create uh, better uh, uh, blendings when uh, I need to blend uh, more uh, smooth, in a more smooth uh, way. When you have to paint uh, uh, a fur or an animal, make sure that you do this, uh, you understand the different areas of color that you have to apply. Uh, don't um, uh, be over confused of what you see. Um, try to compart compartmentalize <laughs> uh, what you see, like here uh, a nose is another uh, story, the eyes is uh, something different. Uh, the the ears is a different one. The fur uh, of uh, the fur that is in the light is a different uh, one, and the fur that is in the shadow is in a different one. Uh, try to deal with and paint with them uh, separately, kind of in your uh, mind, and uh, you will see how nicely you will uh, paint uh, an animal and uh, fur. When painting with a water-soluble medium, like a tempera, sometimes we need to be very meticulous and sometimes to blend a little bit more aggressively, let's say, to apply quickly color on our painting. And really, don't be afraid uh, to mess things up, to experiment, to play around. Here the stick helps very much painting this, uh, the moustache of uh, the cat, little by little. And um, okay, it's uh, fine if uh, the painting is not uh, perfect. Uh, I had so much fun painting this cat, it was really something different for me and I enjoyed this uh, so very much. Welcome on how to paint a realistic portrait like the old master's course. This course will teach you how to paint a portrait that is of high standards as those painted by the early Renaissance artists. My name is Antonis Kosmadakis and I'm an iconographer and a painter. I have been studying Byzantine, Medieval and Renaissance art since 1992 with degrees on painting from the Athens School of Fine Arts and the San Francisco State University. This course shows the technique of painting a face step by step in the traditional way of the artists of the early Renaissance using specifically two works by the great Botticelli as our reference. By the end of the course, not only you will be able to understand the principles of using egg tempera as a medium to paint a portrait, but you will also be able to apply these various techniques on other mediums like acrylics and gouache. More than that, you will be given tips on drawing, colors, the pigments and the brushes. If you want to improve your painting skills and use traditional techniques and concepts to enrich your artwork, this is a great course for you. All you need is passion for painting and a willingness to practice on this exciting way of painting like the old masters. So come join me into this course and see how vastly this can inform your artistic vision. Thank you so much, stay creative! So, thank you for being here. I hope this inspires you to be more in the studio. Please uh, stay healthy, stay creative and uh, it, it's going to be a pleasure to see you soon with another uh, video. Bye!